and honestly once you get into the, the the power level of a wii u anything higher is luxury so i feel like multi-platform games shouldn't be missed based on power anymore it'll just be on like console sales which is one of the main things right now people don't want to put shit on wii u because they're like nobody has a fucking wii u like, which is not really true it's actually doing good i think it did better than playstation 3 360 launches but it's just it has a low install base even if it has like three million out or something like that i don't know it, it, it's just not a lot of people have one right now and then people want to make the argument like oh nintendo fanboys they say they want shit but all they buy is mario not really it's just that you want shit but you don't want like two-year-old games like you gotta you gotta remember a lot of people even some hardcore nintendo fans like myself a lot of people when they uh saw how the wii was or whatever it's like okay cool this is my nintendo box like, i'll use it to play the nintendo exclusives but as for multi-platform games that won't come to the wii at all i'm gonna go buy a and that's when people started getting 360s and ps3s so a lot of us nintendo fanboys not all but a lot of us already have a different console so these games that came out like I got the armored edition of batman and mass effect 3 and all that shit a lot of those games we already had if you if you had the money and if you decided to go and buy another console or whatever oh and i want to go get that how would i would i be doing that i have to go back around see i don't even remember the first world i played through this part like several times but it's been so long since i've played this game i haven't really touched on wii u because i was doing these games as these walkthroughs or whatever so i was just like okay cool i have nothing to do on the fucking wii u then but use it as an internet browser when i don't feel like getting up and going to my, my desktop or if i'm like playing a game or something like that and i just want to look up something really quickly but yeah i have nothing to play on wii u if i'm not doing a walkthrough but anyway that was a little tangent uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, a lot of people already had these games, and then it didn't make it better that if you did not go buy 360 or PS3 and you hadn't got the chance to play Arkham City or Mass Effect 3 or Assassin's Creed 3 or any of these games, it, it didn't help that the the ports to the Wii U were shitty. Like, I understand that it was probably rush time and all that shit. Like, you had small development periods or whatever. Uh, Nintendo is very tight-lipped about the system because, quite frankly, it's a little bit underpowered compared to the other shits. So I'm sure that's probably why they weren't so big on running around bragging what the specs were. I don't think they've still, they still haven't officially told. I think people just reverse-engineered it finally. But, but uh, yeah, the, the reviews for them come back and it's like, if you are a Nintendo fan who didn't go buy another console, it's probably because you didn't have a bitch ton of money. And I don't have a bitch ton of money either, but... You know, you might be younger, or you might just be a person who doesn't have a huge budget for gaming, doesn't take it that serious, but you you want to play these games, but if you don't have a huge budget for gaming, you don't just go out and buy something like, oh, Nintendo, the Wii U gets it, and I'm going to go buy No, you wait, and you see what the reviews are. Everybody's like, this port is shitty as fuck. Go buy it on something else, and you don't have something else. Then you don't buy it for Wii U. The sales for it are low on Wii U, and then these publishers are like, Nintendo fans suck. They don't buy anything. It's not that. It's just the few ports we got were shitty and now all these other multi-platform games are skipping wii u this is, this is a bad situation for nintendo quite frankly i'm sure that oh fuck i missed the star coin i'm sure they'll, they'll work it out or whatever i has faith in them but uh yeah i don't know i'm i'm looking forward to their their first party shit i got a feeling i'm gonna have to buy a, a 720 possibly a, a ps4 if it's if it's as cool as the controller meeting or whatever look because they didn't show the, the actual box but so like it might be might be pretty decent i don't know i never really i wasn't like beefing against playstation 3, really like the playstation idea or whatever that i didn't have a playstation 3 it's just sony kind of was pissing me off I just did stupid shit by the time I, I had money and i was like contemplating the ps3 it just i don't know it just seemed kind of shady the sony side of it like the the uh, security and stuff like that or the PR or whatever and shit. I don't really care for the overly arrogant Nintendo attacking and Microsoft bashing and just thinking they're God's gift to video gaming. Because even if you feel that they are, it's just it's unnecessary to market that way so frequently and shit. But I don't know. Maybe I'll get a PS4. I have a PS1 and 2. I just never got 3. And then uh, it's funny because I was really, really close to just going and buying gay. Yeah, I'll just I'll say yes this time. I don't said no. Uh, sure. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have did that. But, uh, 
when I, I was actually like really close to going to get a fucking PS3 and then the, the February 20th thing happened. I was like, see, I almost gave in and just bought a PS3, but now you're gonna announce PS4, so fuck it. I'll wait and see if I decide to get one at all. If not, I could just be, you know, Nintendo and Microsoft again this this generation, but I don't really wanna wanna miss out on, on certain games if they're really good. So we'll see. I might be buying all three. Also, there's the, the Ouya or whatever and the Steam boxes, we're gonna call it, because I don't know if they have an official name or if the Steam box really is the name. I would hope not. I know that's the Nintendo box joke or whatever, but I don't know. I just I tend to think calling something a Steam box might not be a good idea. So I'm sure it'll have a different name, but I might get that. I don't know if that's going to be pointless considering I have a, a gaming PC and Steam account. But we'll see how everything goes. Interesting time to play video games right now, quite frankly. Also, I don't know how I'm gonna eat these guys. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna record today. It'd be cool if I could actually get to new territories and shit and knock this game out, but I'm gonna just jump off him because that's a lot faster. Yes, applaud for me, bitches. But, uh. But yeah. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna record today. It would be really, really great to see some new levels because I've seen the first world like three or four times. And yeah, is this gonna up? That's gonna fuck it up. Oh well. I'm not getting that one up clearly. I'm gonna keep going. But yeah, it, it just it'd be fucking tits. I got to I, I got to the water world and then I stopped. And I was like, alright, once I stopped, I, I thought it was no, I don't want that. I stopped. I thought everything was gonna be cool. I went to go ahead and what is this one? Okay, cool. Uh, I got a flying squirrel suit thing. I went to, to edit the videos or whatever, had it all synced up, had it all ready to go, and then the gameplay was just audio list. No, come back, Yoshi. Yoshi, come back, Yoshi. Fuck it, yo. Look what you did, Yoshi. Look the fuck you did, Yoshi. Oh, okay. That that's new. Apparently, that's what happens when you die and you're connected to me verse. I've never seen that before. But uh, not really hard to the guy who said, "What the fuck? It's so hard." But. If your Yoshi runs away, it's kind of shitty. Is this another Yoshi or is this a power up? Another Yoshi. I guess in a way Yoshi is a power up, but you know what I mean. And I know I was talking about something, but I don't remember. Either way, it's good to be, to be back for the 7,850th time. Hopefully this time I can stay consistent if nobody breaks my wrist or gets me infected with the flu or strep throat or I don't know some other random disease that I can uh, keep me from doing videos which seems to be everything like I fucking catch everything I used to have like this boss ass immune system I would not get sick for shit okay you want to come over here you're gonna die you follow me all that way it's like the enemies on uh, Dark Souls I fucking follow you everywhere oh, I forgot I could have used that fireball to kill those guys look at me playing like a noob but anyway uh, was talking about something else again. See, this, this is where the Derp Nine part kicks in. I have the attention span of a very, very, very small child. Not like, not like I'm stupid. I just have a really shitty attention span. So I'm kind of stupid. But either way, yeah, I might call it it on Mario after this level. Honestly, I don't know. I want to record a bunch of stuff. I don't want to just have like one game going. I kind of want to play bunch of games but I don't know I don't even know when I'll upload this honestly because I might wait till I have like I'm sitting on a decent chunk of footage and then I can get consistent with the, the scheduled uploader it's been some time since I spent some time with my baby the scheduled uploader I haven't uploaded shit in a while and I know we gotta go get no no bad Mario we have to go get this guy hey I'm baby Yoshi you look like you know where to find food, so I guess I'll follow you. Cool, do that. Just like my dog, who just cost me a bitch ton of money that I had to take him to the vet and I get a bunch of shit did and don't walk off the cliff, baby. I'll just get a bunch of shit did, so there goes me buying uh, Tomb Raider right now. I was I was definitely just like the whole night yesterday. I'm like, I want to get Tomb Raider. I want to pre-order it so I get all this bonus shit before it unlocks in a couple of hours. I'm like, I'm taking my dog to the vet, and when you take your pet to the, the vet, it's kind of like taking a car to the car shop.